Hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day, wherever it is that you are. Um, today is day two of the NYX Lippy Countdown Advent Calendar. So this one I'm going to do a little bit different than yesterday. Um, I'm actually going to put makeup on first and then open up the Lippy and we'll see what we have to work with. Hopefully it doesn't make me look like I'm dead. Um, <laughs> I am actually not going anywhere today. It's Saturday. Um, my husband works all day during the week and I'm at home so we don't get a ton of time together which is kind of crappy. So um, when the weekends roll around we like to spend a lot as much time together as we can. So I'm not really going anywhere or doing anything. We're probably gonna like you know Netflix and chill. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, that's pretty much the plan for today. So I don't really want to put on like a ton of makeup. So this is what I'm going to be doing is going to be like what I do when I'm not going anywhere. But I want to look like, you know, awake and bright and rested and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to go through and do my makeup for the day. My room is a mess. <laughs> it's a mess of makeup, which I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's kind of annoying, but... I digress. Let's continue. Um, so my face is all washed and good to go. So um, one of my favorite things to wear when I'm not going anywhere but I want to look good, I want to look more awake and happy and rested and all that good stuff is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. Um, these are really super crazy emollient. Like they're not your average concealer. They're very, very, very moisturizing. And I happen to like that for days where I'm not wearing a ton of makeup. And I usually just use my finger to put this on because it's it's such a lightweight concealer. And I'm not sure if you can see it. I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder. But it offers just enough coverage. It's not like a super, um, It's I would not say this is a heavy, heavy coverage concealer. It's definitely not. Um, this is more for those days where you just, again, you don't want to wear a ton of makeup. But you don't want to look dead either. So I just kind of pop this on. So that's all I'm going to do for right here. I'm going to do a little bit in between my eyebrows because I tend to be a little bit, I get a little red here for no reason. I have no idea why. And then I'm just going to do my other eye. Sorry if the mirror is in the way. I'm trying to not have the mirror be in the way. <laughs> Yesterday I filmed in my living room because I had already done all my makeup, so all I really needed to do was the actual, the NYX Advent Lippy count calendar thing. So it was fine for me to be in the living room doing this, but in order for me to do this and do my makeup, I have to be in my bedroom, and I don't have the best setup for this. You know, I know you're seeing behind me, like, my dresser, my halfway made bed. Like, it's not the best um, situation, but... You know, do, what am I going to do? Like, drag all my makeup into the living room? Do you know how labor-intensive that would be? Do you know how much makeup would have to go out there with me? Because, you know, when you're doing your makeup, you assume you're only going to use, like, eh, maybe three products, you know? Especially for a day like today where I'm not wearing a ton of makeup. And then as you're doing your makeup, you're like, oh, crap, I forgot this thing. Oh, crap, I forgot that thing. And by the time you figure it out, you've gone back and forth between your bedroom and your living room, like, ten times. So, No. <laughs> So I decided to film in here instead. Um, really, this is ultimately where I'd like to be filming going forward, but I don't have, like my laptop is sitting on the ground connected to my camera so that I can autofocus myself since my camera doesn't autofocus on its own. So it's like, it's not the best setup, but it's what I have to deal with. So I'm going, I'm going, I'm going with it. So everybody else should go with it too. Oh, I have a little bit of redness. Right over here too. So this this concealer is good for pretty much covering up everywhere. Again, you're not going to get a heavy coverage out of this. It's just enough, I think, to kind of even things out a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to set this. Oh no! It's okay, no, nobody worry. I just knocked over some pencils. Um, I'm going to use the um, Glossier Wouter. I haven't decided whether I like this or not yet. I feel like I wish it wasn't so pigmented. And I got mine in light medium. I don't... Maybe there's like a fair light option. Maybe I need to try that. I just kind of feel like this has too much pigment in it. 
which for a day like today where I'm not wearing a ton of makeup it's okay because I don't really want my I don't want it to stand out that I'm wearing makeup you know I want it to look more kind of on the natural side so I don't want like severely highlighted under eyes or anything like that but the rest of the time I can't really use this because it's so pigmented so I'm not, I don't know how I feel about it. This is a concealer that you are going to have to set down with powder though because it's so, um, it's so emollient and so moisture rich that it just stays looking shiny if you don't set it. So you definitely have to set this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to go on like Glossier and see if they have a different color of this powder because I like the, I feel like I like the formula. I, you know, I feel like I like the formula. I just not crazy about the coloring of it. You know what I mean? So now I don't know if you can see now I look like a little bit more refreshed, a little bit more well rested. Um, it doesn't look like I have a ton of makeup on. And that's why I love this stuff because on a daily basis, I don't really go for full coverage foundations and stuff like that. Um, I do it more when I'm filming. That's when you'll see me, you know, using um, full coverage foundations and things like that. But on a day in my personal life, I prefer things like this that just kind of, you know, I'm lucky in the sense that I have pretty decent skin, so I don't really have to worry too much, but I don't want to brag. That sounds, that sounds like kind of, kind of messed up. <laughs> so I'm just going to do my brows and it's again, another Glossier product. This is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. I just, I think that for natural makeup days, they have, Glossier has some of the best makeup out there. Um, it truly is like weightless, seamless, super easy to use. And you can use your fingers for everything, everything. And you can't get much easier than that, like, right? Seriously. So this is the boy brow. This is one of the things that got, um, kind of launched them into the stratosphere of, oh my God, wh what's this brand? How are they so awesome? This kind of does everything that a, I don't want to say it does everything that a pencil does. I don't want to say that because that's, that's a bit of a stretch, but for days where you don't want to mess around with your brows, but you want them to look a little fuller, a little plumper, a little bit more filled in, and you don't want to waste the time actually sitting there with a pencil doing it. This does it for you. I like it. It's pretty damn good. Mine's in the color. I think it's just, this is just brown. Yeah, brown. I know it comes in other shades, but probably should have done something with my hair to get it out of my way so hopefully this video shouldn't be too long because my the whole point to this is this is how to do your makeup super quickly in the morning even though it's like almost one o'clock in the afternoon <laughs> by the way just as a little digression my husband and I tried for the first time today um I live in New Jersey so the main um I know that like grocery stores are different everywhere you go like Florida has like Publix and a couple of other um grocery stores I know like where my one of my best friends lives she has like a, sto a store named Kroger never heard that we don't have that up here so in in um New Jersey we have the two biggest grocery stores are ShopRite and um stop and shop and both of them offer like you can order your groceries online and they deliver them to you but the grocery store we go to the most often is Stop and Shop, and their um, delivery service is called Peapod. And my husband and I were like, I'm tired of going grocery shopping on the weekends because it's just, it takes up time out of our weekend. And we really wanted to try, um, you order it, and the next day, it, they don't do it the same day. The next day they deliver it to you, all of your groceries, like to your door. Like you don't even have to get out of your house. You don't even have to like leave your home. They come to your door with your groceries. Has anyone else tried these before? These like delivery grocery services? Did you like them? Did they work out well? Like did, you know, did they pick out good products, especially if you ordered produce like veggies, fruits, any of that stuff? Like did they, did they pick like the best ones possible or did you get crappy produce? Like this is our first time doing it. I'm a little, I'm like, they're going to forget to deliver it or something. Like I have this, th this thing in the back of my mind where I like, I'm like, this isn't going to work. This is not going to work the way that I think it's going to. So if any of you have ever tried any of those like, um, grocery store delivery services and had a good experience or didn't have a good experience, please let me know in the comments down below. I want to hear your feedback because I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm nervous to find out what's going to happen with my groceries. Anyway, I digress. Let's move forward. Okay, so 
the under eyes are done, the brows are done. So you're probably wondering what are you doing for the rest of your face, Jamie? What are you doing? Nothing is the answer. <laughs> Nothing is the answer to that question. From this point on, I pretty much just highlight. My cheeks tend to be a little, I wouldn't say my cheeks are red. I have a little bit of like a pink undertone and I get, when I get embarrassed or flustered, which is often because I suffer from serious, crazy anxiety among other issues that I have, um, my, the first thing to go is my cheeks, they turn bright pink. So if I don't have foundation on, I do not like putting blush on because I know that throughout the day I will probably naturally blush on my own and it's going to look like I'm a clown, so I avoid it. So instead, as I get out of shot here, and my laptop went out. Still recording. It cut off yesterday in the, fi in the video I filmed yesterday, so I keep looking over going, is it still recording? Is it still recording? In any case. So the next thing I like to do is my highlight, um, because with or without foundation, who doesn't like to glow? Um, so I am using the Laura Mercier Face Illuminator, Face Illuminator Powder in Indiscretion. I don't know why, I don't hear more people talking about these. This is what it looks like. Can you, I mean, this is just beautiful in and of itself. I think I, I think I know why people don't talk about these um, for a long time. And it does seem like we're starting to kind of venture away from this. But for a long time, I feel like what was really in were those blinding, I can see you from outer space. Your face is so, so freaking shiny highlight. And my camera cut out again. So I had to go back and refilm this little portion that didn't get filmed. Sorry, seems to be like quitting out on me at the like 11 and a half minute mark. I don't know what's up with that. I'll have to ask my husband to check it out because that's really freaking annoying. The, anyway, what I was saying before I was so rudely cut off by this camera, you know, I didn't have this problem with my cell phone. I'm just stating a fact here. <laughs> This was supposed to be an upgrade from my cell phone. The point I was trying to make is I feel like you don't hear a lot about this or you weren't hearing a lot about this highlighter from Laura Mercier um, because uh, for a while there, those really loud beaming in your face highlights were what was everybody was looking for. And this is more subtle. I've already applied it while this wasn't recording. I had already applied it here on the high points of the cheek. And you can see it's a pretty nice subtle glow. I applied it above my forehead down that bridge of the nose and on my cupid's bow. So that's all done. Um, it's nice and subtle and glowy and it looks really nice. Um, it's just about, I'm going to have to pick up another shade of this because this is pretty golden on me right now. It looks great during the summer on my skin, but right now I'm just barely pulling it off because I'm starting to lose some of my natural tan. So, um, but yeah, if you're in the market for something that's subtle, but buildable and really, really glowy and pretty, these are great. These are great. Now I'm going to quickly move on before this cuts off on me again. I'm like so paranoid now. So freaking paranoid. Like I said, this was supposed to be like an, uh, an improvement over using my cell phone. And the quality is much better. I watched my own video on YouTube yesterday and I was like, oh, quality is a lot better. This is totally worth it. Now I can't just stop staring at the freaking record button. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> so... Because I'm not, I don't have a ton of makeup on, I'm going to go in with my Molten Liquid Eyeshadow from e.l.f. in Brushed Copper. These things are great. They come in, I believe, I might be missing one color. I know it comes in these three colors. So you get um, Brushed Copper, Rose Gold, and this one's like a gold gold, light gold. Um, I think there's like a bronze one, but I have these three. And these are great for days where you're not wearing a ton of makeup. And I'm going to use Brushed Copper. I just kind of smear it all over my lid. <laughs> that sounds that sounds enticing. Just smear it all over your lid. I'm sure it's gonna look great. No, but seriously, it's gonna look great. <laughs> this is good for days where you don't have a ton of makeup on and you just kind of need a little wash of color and maybe a little bit of um, sparkle too. And these are not overwhelming, which I love about. I love that about these. They're not overwhelming on the eye. They look great on a day where you're not wearing a ton of makeup. I usually like to leave my lid closed while it dries, just so that it doesn't like completely transfer up. Give me a second. Oh, yeah, I almost fell over. It's okay. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just going to use my fan to kind of dry that down a bit. I just think it's nice to have like a glossy, not that this stays glossy because it doesn't, it dries down, um, dries down to, you know, a, a dry finish. <laughs> Um, but I think it's just nice to have like a, a pretty shiny lid 
when you don't have a ton of other makeup on either. And now I'm just going in and doing the other eye. So I just kind of put it on there and then I use my finger to just kind of pat it out. So it's not so crazy intense. Patting it out this way helps to kind of, you know, disperse the shine. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side, just kind of dry it down. Is it still recording? <laughs> yeah. Frustrating. Frustrating. Yep, that's going to be embarrassing later when I go into edit and I see that I'm singing. What are you thinking, Jamie? Huh? What are you thinking? <laughs> I feel a lot more relaxed filming this time around than I did yesterday. It was tough for me yesterday. I had not filmed in so long. I felt I had so much anxiety about getting back on here and filming again because it had been forever since I had filmed. So yesterday was, if, if I seem a little stiff, that's why. I was like, I probably should have taken some medication before I filmed, to be honest with you. It would have been a little bit more relaxed. I'm just curling my eyelashes now. Ow. Got a little too close to my actual skin. So I'm just going ahead and doing this. And going in with my new favorite mascara. This is also not cheap. <laughs> I got it during the VIB um, Rouge event because I've been wanting to try this forever. It's Marc Jacobs. I think this is the Velvet Noir. Oh my God, could they make this any tinier? Yeah, it's the Velvet Noir. I have a problem with my lashes. I'm sure everybody does, but uh, my problem is that um, it's not that my lashes are short and stubby. They're not, um, but they do kind of like point either like this way or this way. Like they don't, they don't naturally curl up at all. And anybody whose eyelashes do naturally do that, I hate you. <laughs> um, but what's really weird is when I curl my eyelashes, my left eye, my left eye, the lashes on this eye over here will stay curled. I'll put mascara on. Yeah, I just got mascara on my face. I'll put mascara on and the mascara will hold the curl, no problem. But when I, oops, got a little random eyelash here. But when I do it on my right eye, my right eye never wants to hold a curl ever. It's like, it just doesn't want to do it. It does not want to do it. So when I find a mascara that makes this eye hold the curl, I hold on to that mascara and I never let go. <laughs> because there's not a lot out there that do it. Um, the, the, the couple that do are um, Mally, Mally Beauty, which you can find at Ulta. Um, I think it's the volumizing mascara she has. That one works really well for my right eye. <laughs> and the It Cosmetics uh, Superhero Lash. That one also works well with my right eye. Mascara always looks good on this eye. It always looks good on this eye. It's My test is the right eye. <laughs> does it work for the right eyeball? And if it does, like I said, I, I hold on and never let go. So, okay. So that's it for that. I'm just going to let this little bit of mascara dry up here and then I'm going to go in with a little spoolie and get it out later. So yeah, that's, that's it for my face. I'm done with my face. So now we can move on to the fun part. Like the rest of that wasn't totally fun. <laughs> um, did I just like blink and screw up my makeup? No, I didn't. Okay. So now we're on to the fun part, which is this guy. We're back onto this guy. <laughs> um, and what we are going to do is we're going to open up day two, right? Yeah, we're opening up day two. This guy, right? The other way, it's the opposite. Day, day two. I've got seven minutes recording, so, okay. So, uh, let's just dig in. The little perforated thingies. Ooh, these are so hard to get out. There's like little depressions in here. Like right in here where you can stick your finger. Oh God. Where you can stick your finger in here and in here, but that doesn't really help. <laughs> oh. Come on, Nyx. Work with me. Okay, I got it. I got it. I didn't break any nails in the process. I got it. Okay. So this is, oh, this is great. This is a Nyx Liquid Suede. I love this formulation. It's fantastic. And this is in the color Soft Spoken. Let's see what it looks like on the back of here. This is okay. All right. 
So this does actually tell you which colors you're getting on which days, which shout out to NYX. Maybe don't do that. Maybe show us what colors are in here, but don't let us know which day we're getting them on because you're telling me exactly what I'm getting and that bothered me a little bit. But let me just point something out real quick while I still have time to film. This is the color. Oh, that's not, that's not focusing at all. This is the color, right? Of soft spoken. Okay. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to swatch it right here. It's a really, it's a pretty neutral. Um, it's definitely not, I, I am not the best at describing. It's like a warm, you know what this is? This is a nice neutral with like a pink base. It's got a lot of pink in this. Um, it's definitely a little on the mauve side. Nice color, right? But look at the color that they show you on the box. This is, does this look anything like this? No, it doesn't. <laughs> Who put that color on here? That's crazy. I think it's hilarious. Okay, so we're going to go in with this. And this actually works out really well. I did such minimal makeup today that this, this color is going to work out really, really well. So, because it's pretty, it's pretty freaking neutral. It's not a bold lip. So this worked out quite well, I would say. Am I in the camera? Okay. Oh, this is so pretty. And the Liquid Suede is a great formulation of liquid lipstick. And they're so affordable. Or, you know, I don't like using the word affordable because what's affordable to me and affordable to you could be good, completely different things. I really like this color a lot. I'm not a huge fan of, uh, this is great for today. I am not a huge fan of neutrals. I'm not. I'm way more a fan of bold lips. That's just what I like. That's just me. Um, but for today, this is literally the perfect lip, um, lip color. It really is. It works out really, really well. I'm trying to get it off the back of my hand now. <laughs> it's coming off. It does come off. You know, I mean, it's a liquid lipstick, so it's going to take a little bit of rubbing to get it off, but that's all right. So, I mean, so far, um, I like this advent calendar, and I'm going to tell you, I like it better than last year's. Now, last year's advent calendar, you got the lip lingerie, and you got um, the eye lingerie set as well. You got them, like, interspersed without your, throughout the actual calendar, but... I don't really like, and I know I'm not the only person that feels this way, I don't really like <clears throat> the lip lingeries that they came out with, as the, those are those liquid lipsticks. I don't really like the formulation. I, there's very few colors that I actually liked or that I could actually wear that looked nice on me. So I'm not crazy about those. So this I actually like a lot better. I mean, this is only day two, but I've already gotten two formulations that NYX comes, uh, has that I really, really like. They're matte traditional matte lipstick and their um, lip suede. So, so far, I'm making out pretty good. Um, okay, so, so that's it, I think. Yeah, we're, that's it, we're done. Day two is done. Um, I hope you liked this kind of chatty, natural makeup, what I do when I'm not going anywhere but I wanna look good type of makeup. Um, cause I said in the last video, I don't want to do the same format, like every single time I, I film this cause there's 24 in here. So that's a lot of filming. That's literally filming every single day. So some of these videos I'll make a little bit longer, a little bit more in depth with different looks. Some of them I will couple the advent series with like first impressions or like, um, you know, really high end or really low end looks, you know, um, so that it's not the same video over and over again, but because it's 24 days of filming in a row, <laughs> just uh, more than I've ever done, um, there may be some really short videos thrown in there as well, where I've already got my makeup done and we're literally just unveiling the lipstick and putting it on. Um, so hopefully you like this format. Um, if there's another format you'd like to see me throw in the mix along with my advent series, just let me know. I'm open to suggestion. I, I want to put out content that you guys want to look at, that you guys want to see. Um, but I also want to do content that I enjoy doing as well. So, you know, and, uh, I gotta 
figure out this camera thing cutting in and cutting out it's not it's not working for me anyway um so thanks so much for you know checking out this video thanks if you're already subscribed you're my peoples and i love you for it thank you so much makes my day i got a comment from a viewer on my video yesterday and it literally made me cry it meant so much to me the comment that was left it wasn't even like a like or anything. it was just a comment and it made my day so think of what would happen if you actually subscribed to my channel i would probably have a, have you know just a meltdown of crying uncontrollably because i'm so happy um like i said yesterday i appreciate every like every comment every every person that clicks the subscribe button i appreciate every single one of those and i appreciate every single one of you that's behind those likes and those comments and those subscribes um it really means the world to me and this is this is a great community i know there's been a lot of um there's been a lot of drama in the beauty community and everything but if we go back to kind of when things started and you know kind of old school youtube beauty there's a lot of positivity in this community as well and that's kind of what i want to keep my channel as is kind of like as drama free and as positive as we can be because let's face it when we go onto our youtube channels and we want to watch people put on makeup we want to watch people put on makeup and maybe we want to hear about their life and how they're doing and you know things like that but you know let's keep it light and let's keep it fun and let's have a good time together and um yeah so click the like button click the subscribe button if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that leave them down below and i will see you on day three just tomorrow of the advent calendar have a good one